It's the last and the final day of the competition and it's still anyone's game. It's tight between the teams, which makes it very exciting. Remember that in the end of the competition, two extra points will be handed out. One point to the team with the most amount of pike caught all days combined, and one point to the team that has caught the biggest pike during the whole competition. These points are very important. The first day, Team Vision Sweden impressed when they caught 122 pike, while the second day, CWC Fishing Team managed to catch 117. As it looks now, Team Vision Sweden will get an extra bonus point regarding the numbers, but both CWC Fishing Team and Carl's Krona Fisker aren't that far away. Who catches the most amount of pike today could be of paramount importance. Both the first and the second day, Team Leech caught the heaviest fish. They've gone all in and succeeded both days with the biggest one weighing 10.5 kilos. A risky tactic, but so far, so good. At the moment, Team Vision Sweden have one point, CWC Fishing Team one point, and Team Leech two points. This score gives Team Leech a good advantage, but it's far away from over. Due to the weather, CWC Fishing Team with Stefan and Pierre have been all over Finland. Right now, they're on the Orland Islands. This is uh, what I call a road trip. Yeah, big one. What you say? Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, we have been everywhere. Yeah. Our plan was to go to the southern part of archipelago in Finland, to some small spots. Uh, we know it has been caught lots of big fish there, but um, the forecast have changed and then they say it's going to be 10 millimeter an hour or something. It's, it's super raining. It's tricky to fish in, in so much rain. So we changed, we, we, we drive like hell and uh, it's, it's still raining heavily here. So we travel more. We, we're going further. Yeah. We're going to Sweden, Sweden again. again. Back to Sweden. <laughs> back to Sweden, back to the roots. Let's do it. Let's do it again. <laughs> okay. We'll do it. Yeah. Super. Down in Germany, in a place called Regen, Team Leach with Alexander Lixen and Marcus Malazewski are waking up. The bad weather that CWC Fishing Team and Team Vision Sweden had on their first day has now reached them and they will have a really tough day on the water. It's raining and it's over 20 meters per second. <laughs> Damn it, this weather is crazy. All the, all the guides in Regen are staying home today, but we are going out. It's, it's blowing, it's going to blow up to 24 meters per second today. So it's going to be really hard fishing. We could have uh, gone home uh, yesterday and uh, fished to the southern parts of Sweden, but uh, we go all in. We, we show how we do when, it's, when we're fishing in, in hard wind. Yeah. Our plan this day is going to be exactly the same as are two days before. We just want one fish and hopefully it's a really big one because in these conditions, either you get like zero or the big pipes are, are eating. It seems that the waves are not so big here where we're gonna start. So that's really good. But we'll see how it goes. We have some spots. We changed a little bit of uh, tactics uh, with other spots today. Hopefully this will also give a uh, give result. On the other side of the Baltic Sea, Team Karlskrona Fiske have launched their boat and just started to fish. We are back. Day three. We got uh, some really strong winds to today and uh, it's really cloudy and uh, maybe some rain. Uh, and we're going to try the same tactic as yesterday and uh, see if we can catch uh, many pikes and even a big one. So, uh, let's get two points today and a fat one. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Boom! The third team to launch their boat is Team Vision Sweden. They're still fishing in the archipelago up north in Sweden, but in a different area. 
knocking at your door. You let him in, let him in, let him in. The conditions look super today, man. Just like the other day, you see, there was no water in this pocket at all. Yeah. And now yeah, it's full filled of water. Up. Yeah. We have 25 centimeters over sea level today. And uh, the last time we were here, we had minus 10. Uh, Thomas had a beautiful fish, almost nine kilos, and then we left the place. So uh, hopefully we can uh, we can fish what we really want to fish today. If it's not fishing today, I'm never going to fish it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be so disappointed. It's just perfect. That's it, man. Yeah. Rock Let's on. go. So we know exactly where uh, the uh, CDC team is. Well, at least we know where they've been. Oh, pre-fishing. Pre yeah, yeah. yeah. But on the other hand, they've been in the archipelago of the, the Northern Finland, so. Yeah. So mm. we're pretty sure we know what they're going to do today. Yesterday I got a text from a Finnish friend spying apparently for us, saying CVC had fished a big river in Finland with success. So uh, after they've been running numbers yesterday we have a feeling that that's where they're going to be today trying for one big fish. for a big fish yeah so if they're running big fish today that's going to be really interesting if they're not they they're going to go for that overall number point what they probably can catch uh, but it's not really their style and we could even today have tried for getting 100 or 80 or whatever fish again and going for the total number point but after two days on Pulling on small aggressive pike, I mean, it was fun, but but it was too much. Now we need a day of, of fishing like we'll do it, you know, if we were just out on our own, big fish in shallow water. We might not, we, we could get quite a few fish here. We could also just get very few, but we're, we definitely have a chance of a, of a nice big fish. And that's, that's what we need today. Then we'll see how long it'll, or how far, how far it'll take us. We'll see what happens. Yeah. I think they need another half an hour to wake up, though. Whoa. It's going to be a bumper ride today. What the fuck? As you see, it's kind of windy today. <laughs> it's crazy. It's going to be really tricky today. We. Um are on the same spot like first day when we took the 10.5 kilo so we gave it a little bit of rest uh, and we see there's a lot of activity here again so this can uh, this can be really good um, just need to hold into the rod now because next strike will be pretty hard on a ferry in the Baltic Sea, Truman and Pierre are waiting to arrive in Sweden. It's been a long night for them driving all over Finland. Back in Sweden. Back in Sweden, yeah. Yeah. And uh, now it's only one bite. Again? Yeah. <laughs> we go for the big one. Yeah. Um, and it's a big lake. The weather is not so good, but... Ah, it's, but it's better on this side. Yeah. So, um, let's go for it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. While CWC fishing team are heading to their next destination, a big lake in Sweden, Team Vision Finland with Marcus and Passi are launching their boat in a very small lake. It's actually a little bit tricky today. So there's for best pike waters, there's no easy access. So we need to launch our boat from here. And we have changed our boat for a smaller one. Fishing for a... Just for the really, really yeah. big pike. Yeah, that's ah. our f only our focus today. Yeah. Just get the one pike over 10.5 kilos. Yeah, that's true. And uh, we have a plan. We're going to execute it. We're going to win the whole whole fly versus jerk with this plan. Yeah. This is all in. Let's do it. Today, it's going to be really zero or hero. And yeah. we say we're going to be heroes. Heroes. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. It's going to be a very interesting last day. All the teams except Kaus Kronofiske are going for the big fish.
We're going to this uh, small lake and we need to access the lake from this small river. So it's like saltwater fly fishing hiding inside the mangroves. And the uh, weather actually looks quite promising. It was really cold last night, but we have some fog and actually we have some clear sky. We haven't seen a lot, lot of uh, sunshine these days, so, so it gets me pumped up and also this place gets me pumped up. We know that we can execute this really big pike for this competition from this secret lake and we're gonna do it, Markus. We're gonna do it. Yes, we're definitely gonna do it. Yeah, this is the day. We're gonna, everyone gonna hear rock and roll shouts all over this lake. Based on our research and expertise, this is the lake that we believe we have a best chance to get pike over 10 kilo. So the reason why here is a lot of big pikes is, is that there's a lot of tench that those pikes tend to eat and uh, they grow extremely big. So there should be a good chance to get pike from 10 to 12 kilos and that's what we're after here. And uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna catch one but there's also a slight chance that we don't get anything. But today it's all in. Just gonna put a really bright tail on here because it's a little bit so the water is a little bit dirty or very brownish so silver fly I was running a silver dragon but I'm gonna put a fluorescent orange on or a yellow one stands out really well in this morning light here so let's see if we can get the fish to just take that decision to really swallow it mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. That was a big fish, Thomas. Man, we only just started. I was so, I got so surprised. Yeah. I guess we're not really used to big fish after two days of, <laughs> <laughs> of, oh, of baby hunting. So nice to be on. We just need to get different water. Bag in shape, yeah. Whoop. They're here, Thomas. They're here. Oh, this is just what we need. Good fishing for bigger fish in really shallow water. This is what we love. Ooh. Ah. We need them to turn, a, turn on a little bit more. Yeah, but well, they're definitely here. It's still early in the day. It just started raining and uh, the wind is starting to pick up. So it's blowing around 12, 13 meters per second. So. Uh, the rain doesn't help, but uh, the wind will make it uh, so we can fish some places we haven't fished before. Now when it's a little bit wind everywhere, that's good. First pike of the day, a little one. We need some bigger wheel boy. Yeah. <laughs> the fish keep coming for Team Carl's Kronofiske and it's not unlikely that they get two points, since they're the only team going for the numbers. If they catch 30 more fish than Team Vision Sweden do today, they will also receive the extra point that is given out to the team that has caught the most amount of pike during the whole competition. Thomas, look at the sky out there. It's just incredible, man. That's beautiful. It's just one badass pike day, I hope. Oh, yep. Oh, <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no. Just like, that cast yeah. must. It was a nice cast. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta give you that. First one, after probably missed six or seven. Look at the color on those. Really optimal for living in these weeds. On the wave tail. So fishing a hook fly that you can just ch change from um, you can just change you can just change the, the dragon tail to wave tail and the wave tail make the fly kick like a jerk bait like that uh, seem like just put it on but I've had three contacts so far so maybe that's the key of the day 
You know what, Thomas? It's a click. You got yep, one? Yep. Good, 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 good. good. <laughs> Look at that. Now you've been talking about all these only big fish and we get two small ones. Yeah, but it might be so that the small guys are in here. Want to leave a touch, bro? No, it's okay. <laughs> good job, man. He just came flying out of the reach. You should see when it started up with the... Ooh. Good, Thomas. Mm. Third fish of the day. They're growing a little. And more importantly, you know, the, the take was a lot more aggressive than the others. I just saw it come flying out of the reach, moving a lot of water, going straight for the fly. So, great sign. Could be a good sign that it's starting to wake up for real. Yeah, but the size is improving. And that's a four kilo fish, Thomas? No. Three and a half? Yeah, max. Okay, so we've have the, had uh, pretty much rain for the two days. Now it's fog, but we can see clear sky above there. So, so I think this weather change will be actually really good for this lake because it's, it has been really like dark for two days and now pikes are seeing the light for the first time in two days. So they're getting more active. I'm starting with this fly. It's like similar colors to a tench, also with the red eyes. I'm, I'm trying this naturalistic pattern. So that was, I think that was my sixth or seventh cast. We know that they're feeding and this this pike took it really aggressively. So the fly is like really deep down in the mouth. First lake pike for us in this competition. We're hoping for a really good day. They're hungry. We are actually now coming to the area where we're gonna anchor our boat because we believe this is the kind of the hot spot for the big ones. So then it's going to be just uh, fishing from the one anchor, several hours, and really hoping that we're going to get the big one. Whoa! Ah! Buzzy. The take was so fast. I don't believe that's a really big pike, but... Buzzy, first warning. No more of those. Look at my hands. I had a take. My heart is pounding like hell. I was using a, I'm using a slow mo line now, so I was I was taking the fly in really slowly, but the pike took really aggressively, so I didn't get even hooked. So I think we can nail that fish again. We're using the right colors, that's for sure. Two takes, we've been fishing for like half an hour. This is good, this is promising. But I just received my first warning. So I don't want to get the second one from Marcus. Well, then Pasi has to go swim. Air temperature is close to zero. Water is 8.3, although we are finished and we like swimming. I, I don't want to take a swim. First fish of the day, but it's small. Took very hard, so that's a good sign. And it's fat. Good conditions. Really good conditions. I think it's a three kilo fish. It is a three kilo fish. Uh, you see how fat they are? So we need this size. Oh, 120 today. Then I'm happy. <laughs> Alex, nice. Oh. <laughs> the head came out of the water. <laughs> I was trying to eat it. Can't believe we're hooking so few. I mean, this this was a decent bite. 
Not like not like the one before, but you know, not like nibble nibble. I think there's w waking up slowly. Feels like. Yeah, it could be. Ah, oh, and another one. How can they, you know, pull on your fly with two hooks and <laughs> never get stuck? <laughs> they teach them that at Pike School or what? Well, yeah, then I have. Ooh. Good. <laughs> Hey! <sighs> so hard, man. It's not supposed to be this hard. But just imagine if we can get five, six meters per second pushing in here. Yeah. Hey well, guys, in the north of Germany and west of, or southwest of Sweden, is it windy? Could kind of give us some because we could need a little bit. Yeah, just a touch of it. Just a touch of it. You can keep most of it for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> The weather really differs for the teams. No wind at all up north, but for Team Karlskrona Fiske and Team Leach, it's getting really bad. It's kind of windy now. <laughs> this is only the beginning. Is it? Yeah, it should go up two more meters per second. This is only 19. Now, yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> This is, we wanted to show Rigen how it's really like. This is easy conditions, don't worry. <laughs> ah, small. Ah, I missed it. No warning from that one. No. I think I'm not doing so much different. I caught the first, first fish with the intermediate line, but I think it comes to the fly. This, these fish, they might see a lot of uh, baits and uh, they're really picky. So I think this, this lake needs to have a fly that has like really naturalistic colors and uh, not so much flash blue on the fly. But uh, I think Marcus will have a big fish later on. Just wait for the rock and roll. Pasi, I'm really happy that your fly is working and there's something I'm gonna give you first time. The leader's beanie. Oh, thank you, my friend. I wear this with a small fish, but it's the biggest fish of the day and ah, it feels warm and comfortable. It smells like pike. I'm gonna wear it for the whole day with a bigger pike, not with that first pike, with a bigger pike. Uh, we have been driving for nearly one hour now. Even if it's rain a little bit, it's much better. Yeah, it's better for that, sure. That's what we want. Yeah. If you stay like this, it's not so bad, I think. No, no. You can't do anything about weather. We have one more hour driving. It's a bit Around less than one, one hour. Yeah, so mm. we don't gonna have so much fishing time this, no. this this day. But it's better to have less fishing time on the right spot with right condition than yeah. fishing in awful weather and, and heavy wind. True. Yeah. So I think we did the right choice. I think so. Truman and Pierre proved this theory last year as they had the same tactic and caught an incredible pike of 9.6 kilos. Let's see if they can repeat that this season as well. So this place here we're fishing now is uh, far in here. There's a river mouth coming out. Um, and this is kind of the delta where the uh, river system meets the ocean. Uh, we're far up in the Swedish uh, northern part here. I mean, this is the place when you want to go fly fishing for pike, this is what I'm thinking about, you know, shallow water, cool spots, tricky fishing, you need to cast accurate, and then sometimes there's just huge fish in this type of area, so. But think about something, when you're fishing river mouths in the north of Sweden, uh, they're usually protected um, for the spawning sea trout, so you're not allowed to go closer than 200 meters with a, with a rod, so think about that. Uh, uh, come on. <laughs> it's like, wake up, man. <laughs> Got him? He's still on. Move to the right here. Better fish? Could be a little bit better. We'll, 
It was a very hard take, but it could just be swimming away, but it feels better. Oh, it's a better fish. Ah, okay, yeah, cool. I think so. I'll net it. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Yeah. Everything is off, so. Losing so many things. That way, okay. It's so cool in here. The water is so dark. Yeah, you can't I see it. I can't see it really. Okay, well done. Oh. I should be a little more than five, I think. Yeah, I think yeah. it's more than five. Nice. Jump. It's a decent fish, man. Right on the side. The stinger is right on the side yeah, of yeah. the mouth. Easy, 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 girl. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. It's not so fat, but probably five and a half. Pretty long, yeah. yeah. Probably five and a half, something like that. Cool. Good job. We're getting into better fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's what we have to plan. So it's zero. Just to be sure, we make a quick way. Was that close to six? Or? Five eighty. It's a new top fish for day three, and it's a decent size of 5.82 kilos. With some luck, it could be the biggest fish today since CWC fishing team haven't started to fish yet. Team Leech are struggling in the wind, Team Vision Finland are taking a bid risk, and Team Karlskron and Fiske are going for the number point. With the current score, it would have been a tie between Team Vision Sweden and Team Leech, but it must be a winner in Fly vs Jerk. But it's far from over and one fish could turn it all upside down. We got 12 pikes uh, the second hour and uh, now we change the spot to a new one. It's, uh, the wind is really strong right now, maybe 14 meters per second and uh, it's raining a lot, so uh, we'll see. It's going according to plan right now and now with the new spot hopefully we'll maybe take 15 the next hour. So we're feeling pretty good. The rain stopped right now as well, so we're uh, we could never be better prepared. The sun is shining. I'm not freezing. Not so much grass. I think this can work, Marcus. I hope so. Not so much bait fish on the... Yes, it can work! Is it better? Yeah, we it's the biggest one. Today. Biggest today. Can we weigh it? I don't know how... But they are... Damn, they are strong. Shall we weigh it? Let's do it, Alex. Ow! It's a four... Four... Four point... Five. Four five. That's a good fish, but not big enough in order to get a point. CWC have finally arrived to the boat launch and are now heading with full speed to the first spot. Pierre, finally we have arrived to the spot. Yeah. The, the forecast seems to be right because now the, the rain is stopped a little bit. Almost, yeah. But and you can see a little bit clear sky yeah. here. So hopefully we, we don't going to have any rain this afternoon. And uh, we know it's big fish around here. So, Pierre, only one bite. Only again. Come, again, come on. <laughs> Let's do it, yeah. We're going to start fishing now and it's... Like Pierre said, really shallow here with, with lots of weeds. And I'm going to start with, with a really nice uh, new Johnny Wobbler that uh, Johnny Tufelt, famous big pike guy, has designed. It has a really slow rolling, soft action. It's a really good uh, design for big fish. And it's perfect for this kind of shallow waters. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna change the hooks because we don't have a, some margins now. It's not going to be many pikes and we need to hook them all. It's better to have fresh hooks. That's good with this stinger also. You only need to change the hooks. The other thing, things are holding up. Maybe sometime you need to change a ring or something, but they will never break. 
Oh. Vad? Missar den alltså. Den simmade mot mig också. Helvete! Den där var bra. Oh. It's never fun losing a big fish, especially during a competition. It could have been the winning fish. Ja, ja. Det var på den igen. Just cast more, more, more. What else can you do? The more you cast, the more you catch. <laughs> you see how the weather is? It was sunny just 10 minutes ago. Now it's raining and it's a storm. <laughs> now it's 22 meters per it's second. Crazy. It's crazy. Unbelievable. Oh my God, look there. <laughs> this is not fun, Marcus. Huh? Look over there. <laughs> no, this is not fun. So on this boat, we're running the new Talon. This one anchors on eight feet. It's much more compact, uh, it's much lighter, and it's perfect for a rig like this. Uh, this boat is designed, and, and what I'm going to use it for is to run in really shallow water. So we don't need to have a talon that can anchor really, really deep. We just want to have one that can anchor in shallow water. And when you're running in these shallow coves like we're doing now, if you put the, if you put the electric engine on spot lock, it has a tendency to um, stir up the water a little bit too much. But if you just push this down, it's steady as a rock. The fiberglass stick goes straight in the bottom, and we're just there, just like a dock. Ah, oh, 11 o'clock. You got zero or a hundred? I don't have to check. You don't have to check. It's a zero. Zero. We lost the fish, man. Well, we lost. The, we went from the area where we were, we're, we're starting out. Uh, went out to this big grass bank. Uh, where we had a lot of fish last year. Um, we touched a few fish, but they were not there at all. The water temperature is stable. Um, it's just a perfect day, so we don't know why they're not there or why they're not biting. We kind of, uh, one or two fish is just hitting the fly. We're not even hitting it, they're just swimming up and pushing it a little bit. So it's tough, it's really tough. Zero fish last hour. 582 is the biggest one. We found some fish today and, and I'm sure we'll get a few more, but the total number point is, is not going to happen for us because then we would need really red hot fishing and we don't have anything near that. I mean, we're losing a lot of fish for, for every fish we're hooking. Um, but we still have a chance for a big one and, and that's what we're after. So we'll con continue looking for that, that one good fish. Yep. Okay. Good. Wow, that's so cool. Look at all the spots. Or the lack of spots, actually. Now we'll need to find the big ones in here. Well, the water came up like 25 centimeters uh, during the night here. And uh, that's usually a really good when you're fishing spots like this. Um, we didn't find any fish whatsoever out in the, uh, in the little bit deeper weed banks. So. We ran all the way into the really, really shallow water. And this is probably, yeah, it's, we're, we're in this deep water. So it's a foot of water, 30 centimeter. And uh, maybe they are in here, you know, or the water has pushed the bait fish in here and also the fish. It's a good sign we, at least we got one to, yeah, to become active. I think, Pierre, we have covered uh, most of the bay here. Uh, this is a quite shallow bay with lots of weed and cabbage. And uh, normally in the autumn, big pike come here to, to feed on the bream and the white fish and swarm. Uh, but uh, today it seems no, no fish at home or they don't want to bite. I think it's a couple of big mamas in here, but we have only a few hours to fish, so we need to, yeah. to find them. Yeah. But you have to be relaxed, I mean, we, we need only one take and the big fish, you can ask a big fish and boom, catching like this, you need, you need to walk for it and... Yeah. Okay. 
It's lots of cabbage and weeds here and it looks really nice, 1.3, 1.4 and um, this is it. We're waiting for the big bite here. Yeah, it looks like the, the weather is changing now. We get some light now and if you're lucky maybe some sun, that would be nice. But, uh, but we, need, we need some contact because so far we have absolutely nothing. One small fish follower follow the bait, the pig shad, and, uh, but very small fish. And you, you can see the bay is really big. So you have the same type of weed everywhere, the same depth. So of course can be some big fish there, but it's so big you really have to cover maximum water as you can. So I use the front motor and we move step by step on the area and we cast and uh, just to meet the fish because it can be anywhere. There is nothing really, no really spot marking. You know, you really have to, to move, cast, cover and, and, and expect to meet something. So that's what we do, but we, have, we don't have much time, so we have to, to fish fast, I think. Okay. What do you say, Pierre? I think we put 30 minutes more here. Yeah, yes. half an hour, and I, we need two hours to fish the other place. Yeah. Too. Yep. Uh, Okay, first fish for the day. Not as big as we want, but we have seen a couple and it's a really good spot here. Lots of small areas with weed and open water around it. So uh, um, it's a big fish here somewhere. It's a big area though to, to cover, but with a little bit of luck, we'll see. We have put the uh, Pierre in the front and normally everything happens then, so we'll see. <laughs> okay. So we're just trying to cover as much water as possible. Um, we're just running and gunning, just trying to find some fish. As soon as we find a fish, we stop the boat, hit a few casts, hopefully we catch one and then we continue because it seemed like the fish is spread out. Um, the only place we had a good concentration was this morning. And we kind of want that place to rest a little bit because we were in a few nice fish there. But we just bumped them, so we're just leaving that area a few hours so um, they can relax and we can hit it again a little bit later. And just try to cover as much water and find some new spots. That's the plan. One nice thing about fishing this really shallow water is that, that if there are fish, you will see it even if you don't catch them, you will see swirls or you will move some fish or if you have, you know, just a little hit on your fly, sometimes you wonder whether it's bottom or grass or whatever, but here you'll always see the water moving. So they, they, they can, well, they can hide, but you know, once we're on them, we'll, we'll usually find out. So it's just covering water and, and they'll reveal, reveal themselves. It's soon 12 o'clock and they've been roughly fishing for half of the time this day. So we are having a, a very tough fishing right now. We can't fish on the spots we want because the wind is too hard. So right now we're standing in the where the wind can't get us. We have lightened up the barbecue and uh, we're gonna eat some good burgers and uh, reload for the last couple of uh, hours. And we have to think of of a plan so we can fish without just immediately drifting over the fishes right away. Because they, they are there, but we can't fish on them. All right, this is uh, half time of day three. Um, uh, the wind is still very strong, as you can see. Uh, we almost cannot make the report, but um, we had some good contacts. Alex had uh, two massive strikes that uh, really hit the lure and um, I think we're just going to keep on jamming here on the, on the same area because this is the only area at the moment that works with uh, not so big waves. So uh, if, when we had the, all the contacts it, it will be a, a possible strike later on during the day. So stay tuned. Okay, it's 12 o'clock. We still feel we're within the chance of, a, of, of the one good fish that we need. Yeah, and also we said there's no, no point catching that really big fish in the morning because it's more, no, more exciting to have, to have it. We have to keep the excitement. I mean, we, 
we saw some, but we, we didn't touch them. But now it's after 12, so, so now, now we can catch now them. Now it's fair game. Yeah, yeah, now we can catch them. Okay, yeah. good. Let's, Let's go, do that. Let's go and get that one. Yeah. But we do really need that big one. Yeah, because we have we, we, we have one point. We don't have the total number. No. Nope. We don't have the biggest fish. No. Nope. We need a, a 10.6 kilo pike at least. So whatever you do, don't miss next episode because we're gonna kick some rubber ass. Pierre. Yeah. It's still four meters here. 3.9. Very interesting first half of this day. All teams except Team Kals Krona Fiske are going for the big pike, but you never know. They could catch a big fish as well. At the moment, Team Vision Sweden have caught the biggest fish this day with a weight of 5.82 kilos. The question is, will it be enough for a point? Team Kals Krona Fiske have caught 22 pike, but Team Vision Sweden are not that far away with 16 pike caught. Could go either way. As we head to the last episode, Team Vision Sweden and Team Leach have both tied the lead with two points. Whatever you do, don't miss the last episode of Fly vs Jerk 9, where everything will be decided. Will anyone manage to catch a heavier fish more than 10.5 kilos? Can Vision Finland go from zero to hero? Was it a good tactic to change country for CWC fishing team? Can Team Vision Sweden manage to catch a monster on the fly? And will Team Leech fall in the water due to the heavy storm? The questions are many. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the last episode. My name is Jay Brooks and you've been watching Fly vs Jerk 9. Don't miss the biggest sport fishing event of the year, the Swedish Sport Fishing Fair 2018 in Stockholm on March 16 to 18. Get your tickets in the link in the description or in the upright corner link See you there!